The SMGs in CSGO work very differently to the other weapon types in the game, allowing players to run fast with their guns out, firing rapidly while keeping movement and accuracy to a relative minimum. But what SMG should you use? Well, every... Scratch that. Almost every... <laughs> Scratch that. Some of the SMGs in this game have a time and a place for vastly different situations. And the Heckler and Koch brothers, the MP5 and MP7, are no different. At first glance, both are incredibly similar weapons, both sporting a 30 round magazine, doing comparable damage, and most interestingly, the exact same recoil pattern. Although this isn't really the case, I'll elaborate on that later. So what are the differences then? Well, the most obvious one and the biggest difference between the CSGO version and older versions is that the MP5 is now the MP5SD, or suppressed. It now has a non-detachable suppressor that makes it a very quiet weapon. But this is a trade-off, as the damage of this weapon is reduced from the MP7's 29 to 27, but this comes with an ever so slight boost in movement speed from 220 to 235. This makes almost no difference in game. Another weird stat is the movement and accuracy of the MP5 is actually worse than the MP7, so the better movement speed is basically negligible even if it were actually noticeable, which it really isn't. Another weird quirk of the MP5 is that even though it's an impressively quiet weapon, the reload sound is one of the loudest in the game, with your character obnoxiously slapping the weapon making a loud rattling noise that will surely alert any enemies to your position. So if you want to be sneaky beaky with this weapon, keep in mind when and where to reload. So about the recoil pattern. I don't know why, as the stats should be basically the same in this area, but I've always felt the MP7 is more accurate and stays towards its recoil pattern a bit more than the MP5, which sort of feels unwieldy. It's entirely possible that this is purely a me thing, but I just wanted to see if anyone agrees with me, so let me know in the comments what you think. So how do you practically use these SMGs? Well, unlike the SMGs I've previously covered, these two SMGs are in an awkward price bracket. At $1,500, they are pricey for SMGs, and they cover a far different purpose than that of the cheaper, faster-firing, close-range SMGs. The MP7 or MP5 is best used when a team is on a force buy, as it is cheaper than the cheap rifles while delivering comparable effectiveness against opponents, at least at closer ranges. The MPs sport some of the longest effective range out of the SMGs, still nothing even close to the cheapest rifles, but this does allow players to effectively play farther angles with these weapons. For example, boxes to cat on Dust2, con to cat on Mirage, or this cheap corner on Ramp on Nuke. So we've covered when to buy this weapon, and where to go with it. But how do you actually use the weapon while it's shooting? Well, both the MP5 and MP7 have the same 7 recoil pattern, similar to the AK-47, except sort of mirrored, requiring you to pull down and to the left, then back and forth horizontally for the rest of the pattern. You're able to pull off a decent level of accuracy while running with this weapon, but that doesn't mean you should always try and move with it. If you're using these weapons on CT, use them as you would a rifle, holding a medium to short range angle at head height and coordinating with your team to call where enemies are so that you can take them by surprise. On T side, these weapons can actually be used to great effect by moving swiftly and compensating for movement with counter strafing and engagements that require it. Early round you can run past CT positions while landing accurate spam shots that will apply pressure and deal damage to CTs. So which one should you use? Well, In my opinion, in its current state the MP5 has no real reason to be used above the MP7 other than the suppressor, something that is rendered basically useless once you reload. CSGO's MB5 just doesn't hold a candle to the beastly SMG that it was in previous titles, and unfortunately, I have to recommend the MP7 over it in virtually every way, as it's simply more useful and practical. So that's all I've got for you guys today. If you're still here and you're not subscribed yet, you might as well, right? Yeah, it's free, you know, you get to see more videos like this one, and you get me one step closer to that shiny 500 number that is getting closer and closer. Thanks, by the way. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and as always, bye.